Hello friends. Welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video we are going to see how to assign custom labels in our app using an automated rule. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. The custom label name itself tells everything, what it is all about. It allows us to assign any label to our products to create specific filters while structuring our shopping campaigns. We can use up to five custom labels for each product from custom label 0 to 4. Custom label attribute is for shopping campaigns only. For display with dynamic remarketing campaign, we need to use ads label and ads grouping attributes. Please note, custom labels are used for internal management and grouping of our products in Google Merchant Center and Google Ads account at campaign level, ad group level, and product group level. Like custom labels are also used for filtering, monitoring, reporting, and bidding in your shopping campaign. Custom labels do not act as target keywords. This information won't be shown to your customers along with your shopping ads. Please note, we can assign up to 1,000 unique labels for each custom label attribute within our account, so up to a total of 5,000 unique labels can be used for all five custom labels. You can define any desired value for custom label within the maximum character limit of 100 characters. Also, custom label values assigned using an automated rules works at the variant level, means if one particular product has more than one variant, then each variant can be assigned a custom label value based on the condition it is satisfying. Like variants with two different prices can be assigned two different custom label values. You can define automated rules for custom labels within our app using options as listed below. Let's proceed with assigning custom labels using automated rules. Assigning custom labels based on different price tiers. From the app interface, please hover over the settings menu and select automated rules for feed. From this page, we will click on the plus icon to create a new automated rule and will select custom label zero option. A dialog window will appear where we are proceeding ahead by selecting the price attribute from the first dropdown, followed by is less than or equal to as an operator and entering 9.99 in the condition value field for the rule. Then enter the name of the custom label value you would like to assign to the products falling under this price range. Here we are assigning $0 to $9.99 as a custom label 0 value, and then click on the OK button to save. We can now add another condition for assigning the different custom label value for another price range by clicking on the Add Rule button as shown here. Now, again we will choose price attribute from the first dropdown is greater than or equal to as an operator, and 10 is value for setting a lower limit of price. Similarly to define the upper limit for this condition, we will use the AND option, and we will set the upper limit for the price range by using is less than or equal to as an operator and adding $49.99 as condition value. For this condition set, we are assigning a custom label zero value as $10 to $49.99. Similarly, we can create as many condition sets as required to assign custom label zero for various price ranges. Here, we have added two more rules for assigning the custom label zero values for price ranges of $50 to $199.99 and $200 to $499.99. Finally, we will add the condition for defining custom label value for products which are priced at more than $500 by selecting the same price attribute from the first drop-down, is greater than or equal to as an operator, and 500 is condition value. For this price range, we will assign the custom label zero value as $500 plus. Once all the conditions are defined, we will save the rules as draft. At this screen, you can review your saved rules before applying it. We can also modify your saved rules by clicking on this gray draft rule box. We can also discard this entire rule if it is not needed by clicking on this discard draft option. For now let's apply it. 
so app can submit the custom label values to Google Merchant Center for each product variant based on the condition it is satisfying. Now let's see how to submit a custom label based on brand, and, or product type. We can also club more than one conditions into a single entity to assign the custom label to our products, where a rule can be created with multiple brands and multiple product types. For this use case, we will work with custom label 1 for assigning custom labels to our products. Please click on the plus icon to select the custom label 1 option from the attribute menu. Then from the automated rule window, please select vendor or brand from the first dropdown. Equals is an operator. When equals is selected as an operator for vendor-based condition, it will list down all the available vendor or brand names which have defined in the Shopify store, so we just need to choose a brand name from the list. Here we are selecting the Modern Furnishes brand in the value field. To define an additional condition, we will use AND option. For second condition, we will use product type from the first dropdown. Contains any of as an operator. While using an operator which contains any of, please make sure to add one value per line in the value field. Here we are using love seats, dressers, sofas, rocking chairs, beds, and coffee tables. As all products from these types belong to the furniture category, we are assigning furniture products as custom label 1 value. Similarly, we will define a new condition for assigning custom label 1 value for some of product types from generic brand, which belong to the home appliances category. Finally we will assign the custom label 1 value to all the products for which product type starts with women. For all the products satisfying this condition, we will assign women's apparel and accessories as custom label 1 value. Please note. After applying any automated rule within a wrap, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes to reprocess the feed and submit to respective marketing platforms. Now let's see how these labels will be reflected within a wrap in the Google Merchant Center and in the Google Ads account. Please navigate to the Manage Products page within the app and open any product for which we have applied an automated rule for assigning custom label values. Here we are searching for women so it can filter only those products which contain women in the product title. Let's check the details for this women's off-shoulder bandage party dress. As the product type starts with women's, it is already satisfying our automated rule for custom label 1. Upon checking the product labels section, we can see that values are assigned for all five custom labels. You might be also curious because when we have created an automated rules just for custom label 0 and 1, why is it showing values for all five custom labels? Actually custom labels values shown on the product details page are synced either from the product meta fields from our Shopify store, or they are assigned within our app using the bulk edit feature. As we see the values of custom label 0 and 1 are not assigned, as per the rule we created within the app. Custom labels assigned using automated rules are reflected in the Google Merchant Center, and other marketing platforms directly. We can check the same in Google Merchant Center by clicking on this direct link within the app. It will take us to the product details page for this particular variant within Google Merchant Center. Please scroll down to the bottom of page for checking the final attribute section for this product. As we can clearly see here, it has assigned the correct custom label zero value as $50 to $199.99 which in alignment of the product price and custom label one value for women's apparel and accessories as product type starts with women. While other three custom labels from two to four are, as it is, which were shown within our app's product details page. Now it takes around two to four hours for these custom labels to show up in Google Ads account. This is Google's usual processing time. Let's check these custom labels within Google Ads account as well. Please log into Google Ads account and open any shopping campaign. We can use custom labels we have assigned to create different product groups in the shopping campaign. To do this, please open Ad Group by clicking on its name as shown here. It will show one default product group with the name All Products. 
please hover over it and look for a plus icon which we are using to subdivide the groups even further. From the next window, subdivide the ad group by choosing the custom label option as shown here. Clicking on the custom label 0 option displays all the custom labels under the product group section with their respective product counts. We just need to choose the checkbox against custom label values and save the changes. It will create multiple product groups using those chosen custom label zero filters. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.